You know, a song is going viral online. It's like, I'm looking for a guy in finance. I'm looking for a man in finance. The trust fund. Six five. Blue eyes. So in today's video, as a woman in finance for over 10 years, I'm going to explain what a trust fund is and how it works. And as a bonus, I will also share my opinion on where to find a guy with a trust fund and blue eyes. I use timestamps, so feel free to skip any part that you're not interested in. So first of all, what is a trust fund? Trust fund, in finance actually, we just call it trust only or trust structure. So you can actually think of a trust fund as a special bank account with specific rules about who can use the money, when they can use it, and for what purposes. So a very common use of a trust fund is like this. They are used by the wealthy. Think, you know, celebrities, business tycoons, or just the rich. They set up these funds to ensure their wealth is managed and distributed according to their wishes. It's like having a golden safety net to protect their fortune and ensure their heirs who inherit the wealth use the money wisely. So actually, you know, you know there is a saying in Chinese culture called Fu Hu Guo San Dai. It means wealth does not pass three generations. It suggests that a family's wealth is often used up by the third generation. Actually, trust funds can help break this cycle by managing and preserving wealth across multiple generations. And then you may ask, oh, Charlene, there are so many different financial products, insurance, funds, stocks, you know, in the market. Why those rich people choose trust fund? And to answer this question, we need to talk about the key players in the trust fund. So actually, there are three main characters in our trust fund story. The first one is called renter. This is the person who sets up the trust fund. Picture a wealthy parent or grandparent who wants to ensure their child or grandchild or you know grand grand grandchild children's future is secure. Let's call them billionaire Bob, the rich guy. Okay, and the second one is called trustee. This is the person or institution that manage the trust fund. Think of them as a for example, a high-end financial advisor or a bank that ensures the money is used according to billionaire Bob wishes. And the third one, the third player is beneficiary. This is the person who will benefit from the trust fund. Imagine a young adult, Charlene, who will eventually get to use the money for important milestones like college, buying a home, or starting her own business. So grandpa, granddad Bob is my granddad. Okay, let's use this as examples. And how it works. So my grandpa Bob, the billionaire, the grantor, deposits money or other valuable assets like stocks, bonds, funds, property into the trust fund. He sets specific rules about how and when Charlene, me, myself, the beneficiary, can access and use the money. For example, he may say Charlene can only use the money for college tuition when she turns 18 or she can only buy a house using the money when she's 25. And now let me give you a real life example. So let's say Grandpa Bob wants to ensure I have financial support for major life events like I just mentioned. He sets up a trust fund with 1 million USD. He names his reliable financial advisor Mr. Jonathan as the trustee. So specific rules Grandpa Bob sets. So first, college tuition. So Charlene, you can only access 100K when you turn 18 to pay for your college tuition and expenses at an Ivy League school. Oh, I wish I did. Secondly, first home. So Charlene, you can only use 200K when you turn 25 to buy your first home. Third, wedding expenses. Charlene, you can, if you get married, you can use 50K for the first fund for your wedding. And the next one, starting a business. Okay, Charlene, you can only access 150K to start your own business at any age after you turn 21. And then the next one probably about first child. Okay, Charlene, when you have your first child, you can access 50K for baby expenses 
and setting up a college fund for your child. And then Mr. Johnson, the trustee, managed the money and ensures that I can only access the funds according to these rules. This way, my financial future is secure and the money is used wisely for important life milestones. And then you may, you may think about, okay, why rich people want to use a trust fund instead of giving the money directly to their kids? The first one is about control. Grandpa Bob can, can set rules for how and when the money is used. It's like setting guidelines for a luxury savings account that I can only access under certain conditions. And the second one is about protection. The trust fund ensures the money isn't spent all at once or misused. Trustee, the bank, oversees the fund to make sure I use it wisely and as intended. For example, if I want to use the money for gambling, the bank will not give me the money. And this is protected by the law. And the third reason is a very, very important reason is taxes. The trust fund can also help reduce taxes on the money, allowing more of it to go towards my future needs. By putting assets into a trust, Grandpa Bob can potentially lower estate taxes and protect the wealth from high taxation, ensuring more money is available for me than going to be paid as taxes. And just for your information, there are different types of trust funds. For example, there's one called revocable trust. So it means Grandpa Bob can change or cancel the trust anytime. It's like having a flexible luxury savings account when the rules can be adjusted. And another one is called irrevocable trust. Once the trust is set up, Grandpa Bob cannot change it. It's like setting firm rules for a platinum vault that cannot be altered. And the next one is called living trust. This trust is set up while Grandpa Bob is still alive, ensuring everything is in place for my future. And the final one is called testamentary trust. And this trust is created through a will and only goes into effect after Grandpa Bob passes away. It's like a special legacy plan activated later on. And now let's get back to the song. It's like, I'm, I'm looking, looking for a man, man in finance. finance. Trust fund, six, six five, five, two eyes, two eyes. right? So, all right, so you are dreaming of that perfect guy with the finance job, trust fund, and movie star looks. But just let's just have a reality check on finance guys. So as a finance woman working in finance for over 10 years, including big firms like JP Morgan, let me share some insights. The first one is finance guys are not always rich. Most guys in finance are well off, but they're not necessarily rich. They typically earn probably six figures, which is good, but far from being wealthy or ultra wealthy. They're more likely to be the middle class than multimillionaires or billionaires. So do most finance guys own a trust fund themselves? Probably not. And secondly, finance guys are often very calculative. They analyze risk and returns in everything, including relationships. What value can you bring to me? This is probably the first question they ask themselves. This isn't always romantic. And the next one is about climbing the pyramid. You know, only a few finance professionals reach the very top who can be called rich. For example, my previous big boss, Jamie Dimon, who earns a yearly salary of 36 million USD. So the majority of finance guys are still looking for rich clients to give loans or to set up trust funds for. And the really wealthy are usually the entrepreneurs or the next generation of entrepreneurs. So finance guys are not rich, maximum well off. And then you may ask me, where can you look for those guys or women with trust fund, the real rich? If you are looking for someone with a trust fund, you may want to aim beyond the finance crowd. And the truly rich people, like I said, are often the ones who own businesses or inherit wealth. And finance guys, especially those with blue eyes and a sharp suit, are often the trustees managing the funds for the real rich, like Grandpa Bob or his granddaughter, Charlene. It's just an example. So while the idea of a finance guy with a trust fund sounds glamorous, 
The reality is a little bit different. They are typically the ones managing money for the rich, but they are not the rich. If you like this video, you are going to like my videos on four unspoken rules for dating and investing success. Like, subscribe, and click on the screen. I will see you in the next video.